Hello everyone, this is Hunter. Today we are going to introduce how to communicate data between Webox and Node-RED via MQTT. Node-RED is flow-based programming tool to drag all those nodes and wind together to compose an application. So, it is like code software, easy to deploy compared with uh, those programming code. First thing first, we need to make sure that the Node-RED is installed successfully and run it. Because I installed it on my desktop, so I can use my desktop IP to access the this uh, low red editor web page about how to install the no red how to get getting started with it please check it on the documentation of no red official website i won't tell more detail for it so next step is to edit my application so here I want to subscribe a MQTT topic then I need to drag a MQTT in node into my page so here is to config my software address IP and the username password and also if the MQTT server require client ID then we can we can input it so uh, because I using my uh, Chinese free MQTT broker so it doesn't require any client ID for, for this case then I click this update and uh, here is for subscribe my topic for example this topic is subtopic 1 and after we done this configuration click this and click deploy so if it is uh, connected so we can see there there is a green lamp for this node because right now I didn't have any webox to publish data into the, the MQTT broker so I need to log in in my Winnet account and past my MQTD demo script Please notice that 
because uh, here the MQTT main function name uh, must be consistent with, with uh, this one so we need to change uh, this and uh, add it into my the address the tag uh, this webox ha has So because no red is the subscriber side, so for the Webox it is a publish publisher side. So we I need to copy this subscriber to topic name into its published topic name. And also this uh, same IP address also the uh, username and this password So this part is uh, for the construction. Sorry, construction. The the JSON for the publish. So I need to change the the address on here and after I complete my mod modification, then synchronize my script so after my webbox script is complete I can back to my knowledge editor page to drag in a debug node to check whether the my subscribe topic is uh, connect so it if it is continuous print out uh, this is message which means uh, my subscribe topic is okay now So now we can using the function node to get the actual value we wanted. For example, now right now I want to get my water level value. So according to the current uh, subscribe the data then the st structure of the, the this data is dot data dot this uh, what level
name parser into the or we can say convert into a floating number then click the done and drag the new debug node and clean connect then so now we can see the water level value is showing up if I want to show my water level into my dashboard then we I can drag this gauge into my page and uh, configure this gauge for example this one is my home page edit and uh, value display and remember to change this value range for example I want to change this label name as what level and click this done So I after I configure this gauge I click this uh deploy So if I want to show my to see my dashboard UI then I can click this dashboard and uh, click this this one to show in my page uh, dashboard page so we can see the this my water level is showing as a meter now no. so we can see also this dashboard has some other uh, object or we can say uh, note we can to display on the dashboard because this dashboard is not no that default node so we need to go to this uh, planet manager to to install it so I can search the the plugin node I want it. So here I search the dashboard, for example. So we can see uh, this one is what I installed. Okay. So this is our uh, all the content I want to present today. Thanks for your watching. See you next time.